Hey there guys, Virtus here and welcome back to my Unreal Engine 4 level design essential series. In today's video we are going to be showing you how you can use particle systems inside of Unreal Engine 4. Now what we're not going to be doing is showing you how to create custom particle systems that is going to be a whole series of its own. What we're going to be doing is just focusing on finding them in the content browser, using them within our scene, and just controlling some of the different settings to work with them the way that we want to. So without further ado, let's go ahead and dive into it. So a particle system is essentially a system of particles. What I'm gonna do is go into my starter content that came with the project, and inside of my particles folder, Older, you can see we've got some stuff that comes with this. We've got some explosions, some fire, some smoke, some sparks, and so on. And if I just double click my sparks real quick, it is going to take us into the cascade editor, the particle editor inside of Unreal Engine 4. And inside of here, you can see we've got a couple of different emitters. And these emitters are going to be spawning particles with materials on them. And that is how you get the look and the style that you are after. Now, don't worry about all of this stuff. You will learn this as part of my particle effects series. But what you need to know is just sort of the, the way a particle system works in terms of, it's just a group of different emitters with different materials and different functions and stuff as well. So using them inside of your scene is really, really straightforward. For the most part, all you need to do is just go ahead and drag and drop. So let's say I wanna put some fire into my scene here. I can do that just by click, dragging and dropping, and then it's gonna go into our scene. Initially, it might look a little bit like this, a little bit funny. That is because the shaders are compiling, so you will sort of get this odd effect. But once it does load up, you are going to get your particle system in your scene. And then with this, I can see I've got my fire and it looks quite good. Now, with particle systems, you can adjust these in the same way that you would with a... Uh, a static mesh or anything else, you just use your transformation tools. So I can move it left and right and backwards and forwards and up and down, but I can also scale this. So if I wanted to, I can make it smaller. I can also make it bigger if you wanna have a bit of a bigger fire. And now if I look at this, you can see it is a nice big fire. In terms of settings for your particle systems, there's not that much that you do need to know. Essentially, with the particle system actor selected, you just need to go to details, and then from here, all you're gonna change is your fire. Now, one of the other things that you might wanna do is play around with uh, the custom time dilation. So if you wanted to, you can actually slow this down you can speed this up, and that's just going to change the speed at which your particle system is gonna play. So 31 is essentially 31 times faster than normal, with one being the normal speed. So if I set this to 0 0.5, it is going to go at half of the speed that it did, with, uh, did before. And if I was to drag in some sparks and do the same thing, set this to 0 0.5, you're going to notice they're going to move a little bit slower. Now, generally with the speed of these particle systems, you are going to want to leave them at the speed they're at, you know, the way they are made, unless you, you know, as a level designer, you feel you need to make that tweak, but that is something that you can do as part of this. And then a couple of other things you've got as well, probably one of the important bits is auto activate. So in the details panel, auto activate, if this is selected, when you press play, it is going to activate your particle system straight away and it's going to be loaded up. So you don't need to tell it to load inside of blueprints. If I turn this off, press play, the actor is still gonna be there, but it is not going to be spawning the emitters as it should be. Now there's a couple of other settings, most of them aren't that important, but just have a little play around with them. One of the other ones is your shadows. Do you want it to cast shadows or not if it has static meshes? But other than that, just leave them the way they are generally, but have a little play around with these. As part of the starter content, you do get some steam, you get some smoke, sparks, and all that good stuff. And if you actually go into the marketplace, 
you can find a really, really nice effects pack uh, under the name Infinity Blade. Infinity Blade Effects Pack. And within there, there is hundreds and hundreds of effects, but you can find it in here. Anyway, guys, experiment with that, but I'm going to end the video here. Once again, guys, thanks for watching. Stay awesome, keep creating. Your boy Vertus, signing out. This video was made possible by my supporters on Patreon. If you want more videos like this, check out my Patreon page using the link in the description. To stay up to date on new releases, make sure you follow us on social media.